In this video, I will be taking you to the four best beaches in Gokud in Thailand. Stay with me until the end of the video because I will be sharing with you the costs and travel tips. Hello everyone, welcome to my U Travels and in this video I'm changing the landscape completely. We are here in a warm weather place in Kokut in Thailand. Right now we are in this resort called the Paradise Kokut Beach Resort. So let's check out the beach uh, in front and uh, I think I will not be disappointed for sure. <laughs> We have here a huge infinity pool for when you are bored of the sea. And here we are, right at the beach. As you can see, we almost have this beach to ourselves. Let's take a dip. <laughs> One of the great things here in Thailand is that do we have the warm water the whole year round. So everywhere you go, you will be able to swim. So the further you go away from the city, the clearer the water is. This beach is very well maintained and very clean. In this hotel, Paradise Beach Resort, there is a huge pool that you saw. There is also a gym, live music in the evening in the garden, and most importantly, peace and quiet. Good morning everyone. This is my third time in this island and I'm always excited uh, with the idea of coming back here, this little paradise. I will leave in the description below uh, on how to get here. This island uh, is beautiful, quiet. There are not many tourists here, so you can have the whole beach to yourself with some other people. <laughs> but uh, I guarantee it's worth it. So since I have been here before, I have nothing planned for this trip. So we're just gonna take our time, relax on the beach and maybe find some corals uh, to film. So let's not uh, waste another minute and uh, jump in the bike and let's go. Going around small islands in a scooter, it's a bliss. There are hardly any cars or trucks in this road. And there is no way you can get lost here because there's only one straight line main road that will take you up and down the island. We have arrived to our first beach. Let's park the scooter and enjoy the day. We have now arrived at the Neverland Resort in Kokut. It's so quiet here, maybe because of the heat, but uh, look at the water, it's beautiful. sand is so soft. Look at how fine the grains are. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a private beach. Look at this. 
<laughs> Let's check out the water. The visibility is great. Uh, the depth must be not more than five meters here. And there are so many fish and mostly hard corals. That was amazing! We found the corals right off the beach actually. We were swimming all the way out but uh, there was nothing. <sighs> After a good swim like this, I love to eat. Let's get some lunch. This is our lunch. There will be more, it's coming. <laughs> but let's start with uh, some fried shrimp. Sure, I think we can eat the whole head. Now, our second course. Coconut soup. And seafood. Mm. Just gonna try the soup first. How is it? It's, it's good. Mm. So, before we leave this beach, let's check out the surrounding with our drone. Do you agree with me that life is so kind in the tropics? <laughs> Alright, it's time to hit the road. On our way back to the hotel, we decided to stop at this pier for a dip. It's a bit of a walk at the end of the pier, but uh, it's the only spot that it's deep enough for a jump. Okay, the camera is in position. One, two, go! Here we are back to the hotel, so before we head to our dinner, I would like to show you our hotel room. This is Kokut Paradise Beach Resort. We have this um, beautiful little hut, uh, a few steps from the beach, and we have the terrace here. Let's check out the bedroom. Okay. Let's shut the door to keep the mosquito out. 
Okay, bedroom is facing uh, the garden and the sea. And then uh, thing you have here should be a desk so I can work remotely when I'm here. And then what do we have here? A fridge, a kettle to make coffee. And they also provide a beach bag, towel. This <laughs> bathroom is huge. <laughs> Look at this. You can fit, I don't know, 20 people in here. Yes. Very nice and clean. So then when you open your eyes and this is what you see in the morning. Beautiful. Today we are checking out Bangbao Beach. We are actually right in front of Sayam Beach Resort. This beach is also uh, known for diving. So let's see if we can find somewhere near some corals and some fish. I feel Gokud is underrated. Look at this beach and tell me that paradise does not look like this. There is a wooden pier here that is still in use to get on small speed boats. So you can just walk on it and sit on the hammock at the end of the pier. You might not be able to tell, but it's actually very, very hot, maybe around 40 degrees Celsius. So make sure you apply sunscreen and cover yourself well to avoid the sunburn during the first few days of your trip. It happened to me before and my entire trip was ruined. <laughs> We couldn't find any reef on the Bangbao beach here. We swam quite far away, about 100 to 200 meters uh, off the beach. Couldn't find anything. <laughs> we found some fish uh, near the pier, but uh, that's it. It's only sands here, <laughs> very soft. We are leaving Bangbao Beach, we are heading to a bakery where they have milkshake there. We decided to have a light lunch, tacos and smoothies, so that we can enjoy a big, big dinner tonight. We were looking for some soft durian on this island and there isn't any. 
unfortunately. Let's try to find more. We are heading to Torani Beach uh, to uh, the Peter Pan Resort. This is the beach where uh, the river water meets with the sea. Let's check it out. This is another deserted beach. Come swim with me. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, this is a beach where the river meets the sea. So you can kayak one kilometers upstream all the way to the mangroves and it would lead you to a waterfall. Or you can just enjoy the beach here like me. <laughs> wanted to do some kayaking along the river but uh, it was all booked out so we're gonna head back to the hotel and have a swim the last swim of the day The easiest way to get to Kokut from Bangkok is by bus. So I recommend Boon Siri. Uh, they arrange everything from uh, the bus to the boat transfer and also the transfer to the hotel when you arrive here in Kokut. I departed. <laughs> I departed at around 6 a.m. Uh, in the morning from Khao San Road and arrived at 11 a.m. at the pier and then waited for about approximately one hour to get to the boat. And the boat is one hour uh, from uh, Liam Pier to um, Kokut. 
and then uh, by 3 p.m. and same day you'll be uh, here enjoying the sea uh, and the beach the easiest way to get around Kokud is by scooter if you know how to ride one it's wonderful but if you don't I think it's very easy to learn and you can also learn on the spot so most of the hotel they would have the scooter rental service uh, it costs around 300 baht per day so you don't have to book in advance they always have uh, uh, supplies to fill up the petrol in the scooters is very easy across the island they have this automatic uh, petrol station that you uh, just need to insert a banknote of 100 baht or 50 baht or 20 baht and then it will automatically uh, dispense uh, to eat here in Kokud I recommend uh, Heaven Sense they have Italian food there uh, great pizza I also recommend pizza and pasta uh, which is uh, run by an Italian chef as well and in terms of burger if you like burger I definitely recommend uh, the fisherman's hut and if you like tacos I recommend uh, this place uh, which is Kokud Vibe all right i'm gonna put up uh, the costs up here so then you know what to expect uh, when you are here in kokut if you enjoy this video don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching until the end and i will see you next time bye bye